What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with another video. Join us now as we look at this week's edition of the Blue Brand, as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including concern over Brian Danielson's health, WWE cancelling a Survivor Series match, The Undertaker calls out Batista, Jey Uso comforts a crying kid, an update on Shotzi Blackheart, CM Punk takes a stand, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new videos on WrestleMania XL. Now as always we won't recap the matches but just look at the good, the bad and the downright ugly. As always we start off with the good as number one, a dynamic debut. It was difficult to imagine a better debut for the Motor City Machine Guns of Alex Shelley and Chris Sabin than the one they had last night. The WWE hyped them for just the right amount of time to catch the fans' interest without burning them out with endless waiting. Their signing was treated as something special, which it is, and their entrance video was another triumph for the WWE's production team. As expected, the guns looked terrific against Los Garzas and A-Town Down Under, and fans should expect a great match when they face DIY. The only way to top this would have been to hotshot things with Saban and Shelley beating the Bloodline for the Tag Team Championship. However, do you think that they will be the next Tag Champions? Number 2. Tag Team Turmoil Last night's double shot of triple threat tag team matches to crown a new number one contender for the WWE Tag Team Championship was another opportunity to showcase the Blue Band's many talented teams, not to mention introducing the guns. While it's likely that the winner will be the latest duo fed to the bloodline, a situation which needs to be changed, it provided plenty of action and valuable TV time. Number 3. No Yeet a Jey Uso isn't ready to rejoin Roman and Jimmy in the bloodline, and who can blame him, given how he was treated before he left SmackDown? Having Jey appear on SmackDown made sense. First main event, Jey showed up to respond to Jimmy's plea on Raw to help Roman out, a reminder of how to attract viewers to tune into both shows. Second, the idea of Jey trying to reconcile the different members of the bloodline was logical, and the current Intercontinental Champion has repeatedly shown his main wishes for everyone to be on the same page. Jey made a valid point questioning Solo's motives, particularly Sokoa's addition of Tamatonga and Tongaloa to the group. This should only add to the fans' different theories about whether Solo is the true tribal chief or playing someone's puppet. Number 4. Candice LeRae Gets to Shine It was great to see women's speed champion Candice LeRae in action last night, as a poison pixie like many underrated talents has struggled for TV time and her appearance in a high profile match and a win was a creative way of plucking her from catering. While it may be ultimately meaningless in the big picture, Candice fans are likely happy with any win at this point. Number 5. A Great Showcase for Lash Legend Lash Legend got to shine last night with a match against Piper Niven that showed just how powerful she is. Showing Bianca Belair's amazement at Legend's power was the right touch to let fans know that Legend is a future WWE superstar. Number 6. Backstage Intrigue with Orton As something behind the scenes is keeping Kevin Owens off TV and preventing Randy Orton from getting his hands on Owens. Just what is anyone's guess, which is a good way to build fans' interest in this storyline and to delay the inevitable in-ring showdown between Orton and Owens until WWE really feels the time is right. And good hype for Carmelo Hayes vs Andrade the WWE knows a good thing when it sees it, which is why Carmelo Hayes vs Andrade is headed for a 7th deciding match after weeks of each man battling for supremacy. Adding the United States Champion to the mix as a special referee for the deciding bout was a smart move. While Knight has been a supporting player since winning the US Championship, this could help him get back into the spotlight. Now there was nothing bad, as SmackDown was strong from start to finish. Our critics may argue that some segments were basic such as Cody Rhodes' promo or the latest Bloodline Family feud, but these segments were varied enough that they didn't seem formulaic. Of course, there was no downright ugly, as the blue brand continued building toward Crown Jewel while also promoting storylines likely to play out on SmackDown rather than PLEs. What did you guys think of the blue brand last night? Let us know in the comments down below. Now, let's move on to the news. Our first story is concern over Brian Danielson's health. At top of today's news is the question of whether Brian Danielson's wrestling career is really finished. Danielson, whose battle injuries was written off TV at WrestleDream, and as reported earlier, the American Dragon's current concern isn't returning to the ring, but concentrating on his health. According to the latest Observer, the former AEW World Heavyweight Champion will undergo an MRI of his neck to determine what condition he is in, particularly whether he needs neck surgery. What happens next depends on if the level of damage is the same as it was or if it has worsened, and if not, by how much. The hope is that he won't need surgery and he can heal up strong enough with stem cell treatment therapy, but if not, he'll have to undergo surgery. If or when he can return to the ring depends on how well all of this goes. While Danielson's dedication to wrestling is admirable, his main priority is his health. Thankfully, it appears he's committed to putting his well-being first, which is especially important since he previously stated he wanted to spend more time with his family. 
Whatever happens, we send our best wishes to Brian for a full recovery. Next up is WWE cancelling this Survivor Series match. Will the WWE ever bring back its traditional 5 on 5 elimination match to Survivor Series? While the WWE built the show around the elimination matches, including tag team elimination matches, they began to be replaced by traditional wrestling matches, with many of the shows only featuring one or two old school Survivor Series style matches. The introduction of the War Games match to Survivor Series, while well received, has come at the cost of the WWE's elimination matches, leading to questions about whether they'll ever be brought back. During a Q&A, PW Insider's Mike Johnson discussed whether the matches will ever return, sharing his fondness for the match but sounding uncertain about its return. I have great nostalgia for the old 5v5 elimination matches. The 87 Survivor Series was the first pay-per-view I ever ordered. We got cable the day before but I realized that the spectacle of the match has greatly waned over the decades. If anyone could bring it back to some sort of former glory, it's probably Paul Levesque's current team, but War Games is what's going to drive the interest in the show this November, so I think the old format will likely go the way of the Dodo Bird, sooner rather than later. Like many things in wrestling, it's not a question of whether the match is outdated, but how it's presented and executed. Elimination matches can be exciting, especially when there are storylines driving the wrestlers involved. Just as the WWE helped revive the Hell in a Cell, it's easy to imagine it bringing back the 5 on 5 matches and making fans actually care about them. Next up, The Undertaker calls out Batista. The 2024 presidential election is coming soon and the US and the WWE superstars are endorsing their favorite candidates. Now, although we like avoiding politics like we avoid Lars Sullivan matches, Batista's recent endorsement of Democrat Kamala Harris has led to a response from Hall of Famers Kane and The Undertaker. Consequently, we felt that you might be interested to hear what the Brothers of Destruction had to say, as the two sat with fellow WWE Hall of Famer Donald Trump, who is currently seeking re-election, and commented, or right, everyone, November 5th, election mania. Choice is yours. You can go with President Trump, Kane and The Undertaker, or you can go with Kamala Harris, Dave Batista, and Tim Walls. Choose wisely. The nation depends on it. Next up, CM Punk takes a stand. Speaking of politics, you never know what CM Punk is going to say, whether it's in the ring or in a promo. However, Wrestling Straight Edge Superstar took a moment from his announced duties at the recent Cage Fury Fighting Championship event to get political. Punk's broadcast colleagues were encouraging viewers to get out and vote when they asked if Punk had anything to say. And he said, I'm CM Punk, and I wish we would stop genocide. What do you guys think of Punk's comments? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up is Shotzi Blackheart returning soon. Now it's time for an update on Shotzi Blackheart, who's been out of action since suffering a torn ACL during an NXT taping last February. Fightful Select Sean Ross Sapp is reporting, a good rule of thumb on anyone who sustains a torn ACL is to expect them out for a full year. And if you can get them back sooner than that, great news. Shotzi tore her ACL eight months ago, so I'd assume she still has some time out. The number of female superstars who have suffered torn ACLs is disturbing, a situation that has repeatedly invited debate about whether the WWE's talents are taking too many risks, are overtraining, or are simply dealing with an unusual string of bad luck. And finally, Jey Uso comforts crying kid. Last but not least, IC champion Jey Uso showed what a class act he is recently when he saw that Bron Breaker's taunts had upset a young fan at ringside. Main event Jay then promptly brought the fan into the crowd and had him do his yeet catchphrase alongside him, entertaining the fans with a kind gesture and made the kid feel like a million bucks. But there you have it folks, I will look at Smackdown as well as the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.